So my parents were divorced when I was two years old and I struggled with that because my schedule was very up and down. When I first moved into third grade, I was quite a bit heavier than most of the other kids and they noticed that and they called me names like Fatty and Big H and a bunch of other really hurtful comments that really degraded my self-esteem for quite a long time. I didn't really think anything of the comments for a while because I just thought, you know, oh, that's what happens. Cause you, you see that in movies where kids just kind of pick on each other, but it's not the same. Like it wasn't the same after a while or the point where I noticed that nobody wanted to hang out with me, nobody wanted to talk to me. And I would go home and pretty much cry about it in my room, trying to engage myself into reading. That was something that I was really big into at the time. I was reading a lot and I read hours upon hours a day to try and kind of get away from the real world and put myself into a fantasy world. In my fantasy world, I could be any character of any book that I wanted to be. I could be Harry Potter and all the Harry Potter series. I could be, you know, anybody that I wanted to be in whatever book I was reading. It didn't matter. I was just, I was the main character and everything was going right for me. The bullying continued throughout fourth and fifth grade and I kept eating to kind of get away from my sorrows. I ate my sorrows away, essentially. Um, and I got to about sixth grade. I still had no friends that actually wanted to hang around me. I tried to hang out with kids, but they didn't want to be around me. There was a time when I was hanging out with one of my closest friends from my childhood, one of the only friends that I had left, and I told him that I was depressed and that I was considering uh, committing suicide. And he really urged me not to do it and tried to help me as best he could, and he did for a while. It took a lot of courage for me to admit to my friend that because I didn't feel like anybody wanted me at the time and I didn't want to tell anybody, I just wanted to kind of go quietly. But I felt like somebody should know and kind of like would expect it to happen. I didn't want it to be like a big surprise to everybody. I wanted somebody to know that I was struggling and that this could be the, the result that would come out of it. When my parents bought me an Xbox, I immediately got Call of Duty games and I started playing Call of Duty and as soon as I could, I got Xbox Live so that I could get on voice chat and play with other people around the world. When I would get into a game, I knew that I could just be who I was and people wouldn't look at me as the way that everybody else did. They were accepting of me. They wanted, you know, they wanted me to play because I got good at the game. Everybody wanted me to play with them and that's kind of how I coped with things. Some people don't understand the hype, I guess, or the en vogue, per se, of the gaming world. They don't understand why kids of my generation and of younger generations get so involved in it. And it's because to them, like it is for me, it's a fantasy world. You can look at gaming and identify as whatever character you're playing. You don't have to be the character of yourself. You don't have to be a part of your life no matter what the situation is. You can be whoever you want to be. You don't have to be depressed or bullied or anxious all the time. You can be the hero of your own story. When I decided to speak my struggle with anxiety and depression and suicidal thoughts, it made me a happier person because I knew that somebody else knew what I was going through and wanted to understand what I was going through and that really helped me. The effect that Remedy Live with their chat center and their other ways of helping students, the effect that they can have on students like myself or just people in general and helping them understand that God created them the way that he wanted them to be and that he wants them to be happy and he wants them to be them, it can have such a huge impact on this world. I'm not going to let my depression or my anxiety or any suicidal thoughts that I could have take over who I am. And I'm not going to let anxiety get in my way.